that's it. That is our series on Gospel Conversations 101. Thanks so much for coming through uh, these last few sessions on how to start, how to carry, how to close a gospel conversation. I really just want to finish this series with a couple of challenges. Uh, number one, I would challenge you today to go and actually engage someone with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I would just encourage you, maybe it's someone you know, or maybe someone you don't know, uh, but the best time to have a gospel conversation is now. Don't wait until maybe you feel like you've learned enough or you feel like you've studied enough for years and years and years. Go ahead and begin to share with people. If you don't know what to say, just start to tell people your own personal testimony and allow God to begin to use you. The second thing that I would encourage you uh, to do is look for one person every single day. Uh, if you begin to engage people with the gospel, the more you do it, the better you will get with it. And I want to remind you always to keep it simple. When you're having gospel conversations, don't overcomplicate it. Don't even overthink it. Just be natural and be who God's created you to be. And also remember that the goal of every gospel conversation isn't as much conversion as it is connection. God wants you to connect with that person, to build a relationship with them, and to utilize that point of contact in that conversation or that random occasion of meeting them out on the street. He wants you to use that moment to really be able to share the truth in love, to give witness to what God has done in your life, and hopefully to begin to disciple and encourage that person to follow Jesus Christ. So I wanna encourage you to step out, take risks, and begin to have more and more gospel conversations in your everyday life.